Wait a minute. Okay. This is the Edition Unfiltered podcast. Previously on Edition Unfiltered. I've always wanted to do that. Well, not previously on Edition Unfiltered, but the previously part. Anyone that's grown up watching Vampire Diaries has had that previously on the Vampire Diaries. So if you haven't, well, now you've experienced me say previously, like this is a show that you're watching but it is a show so you're listening to it and the previously on edition unfiltered does make sense here because on the last episode we had this amazing person talk us through her journey into landing an amazon prime series in bollywood as a kenyan actress which has been completely inspiring not just for me but i know a lot of other people who are listening as well and i left you hanging in the last episode so here i am to be your Night in Shining Armor with the rest. And here we go. So a little context. I know we spoke about this before, but for anyone that doesn't know, Bollywood is has a reputation for being nepotistic, business, family-owned stuff. And so just getting your foot into the door is really, really hard to do. And you just landed a whole Amazon Prime series. So yes, I did that. I did, you <laughs> did that. Take us through it. How did it happen from the moment that you learned about it all the way down to you found out about the part? How did you feel? Was it surreal? Take us, walk us through those moments. I must confess right now, this is the biggest uh, production that I have done so far in my mm-hmm. career. And um, it's something that it was, it, it's just, it was just once in a lifetime opportunity. And when I heard about it, I didn't quite, they didn't, they didn't explain much about it. Those just say they wanted, uh, uh, they just wanted actors, like really good actors. They were scouting from, uh, for, I think over seven countries in Africa. Mm-hmm. So they wanted an authentic African actor who can be able to portray the African side and bring it to Bollywood. Yes. Without having so much of, well, actually bringing that contrast. They wanted to showcase that contrast. And... As I was telling you, they didn't mention anywhere about speaking in Hindi. So the third, the third, I feel like they left that out on purpose. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Uh-huh. But even, uh, yeah, I think so. I'm glad they did. I'm glad I would have been scared. <laughs> and uh, so they also mentioned that they wanted uh, the, the film would be shot in India. So uh-huh. someone needed to be ready to travel and very flexible about that. And I was like, you know what? There's nothing I'm doing at the moment. So yes, I'm on it. So I remember I saw that poster. Hey, and you know the lady who was on the poster, Naomi Campbell. No way. They wanted something, but you know, like that was just like for what do you call it? To just give like the context of what they're looking for, like uh-huh. um, like that type of that kind of like, that was that was the picture that, that they had in mind. Yeah, so that was what was on the on the poster, and I was like, ah, are they looking for models? Does it have to be this specific type? I'm not sure, but I still it applied. I remember. Mm-hmm. And I waited for about two weeks without getting a response. I even forgot about it because I know once you do like an online audition of like when you submit your pictures for and videos like introduction videos, you, you like you wait for maybe four five days max, and then they they tell you if you got a rush. If you don't hear from them, then you just know you mm-hmm. didn't get it, so you move mm-hmm. on. I actually had forgotten about it until I got an email, and um, so they had shortlisted me, and mm-hmm. I was like, wait a minute. Did I hear this right? They I did I hear this right? You. They should listen to me. And I'm like, well, sure thing. Bring the audition. Oh, no, that is not the proper audition. So they sent me the script. It was in English. Uh-huh. And I did the video and I also sent it. And I waited again. And now they, they sent another email saying they've now, uh, I've been shortlisted from the videos that were sent. Uh-huh. And now they will do like, uh, like a Zoom audition, like a virtual audition. And I'm like, Shit, am I ready for this? Actually, am I? Am I? So that one was including the the director, the producer, the, the producer and the, the ED was the one, the, the ones who were doing the auditions virtually. So we did a uh, we did a session, and they told me we'll get back to you. <laughs> you know, they just we'll so cryptic. We'll get back to you. We'll, we'll get back to you. Thank you for it. We'll get back to you. Bye bye. And I was like, okay, you know, what? they've seen me at least because they wanted to get the feeling of. They didn't even make it so tough. They wanted to see my personality and how you respond to what they were asking. They just shot a few questions here and there to see how you would respond to that. And I think I passed the ball. Also, after, after a few days, now they sent me the, 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 no, the confirmation. Mm-hmm. I was all over them. Oh my God, you have no idea. I was over the moon. 
First of all, I was like telling my friend, please pinch me so I can see if it's, if it's real. And now, now when they told me that I've been selected, now that's when they sent me the full details. Uh-huh. And every time I was reading, every paragraph was just so heavy. Just of all, it's on Amazon. All right. And like, oh my God, what? It's a series. I'm like, oh, shoot. It, you're going to be in Mumbai for like three and a half months. I'm like, Wait a minute. What is going on? The next like, paragraph. We're going to take care of everything. I'm like, Hey, yes. um, all right, let's do it. And then we're down here, Hindi. <laughs> and then I'll take classes in Hindi. And I'm like, oh. well, they had to leave that for last. But anyway, I'll still do it because they've selected me. There must be a reason. So yeah, I'm pretty much, I'm so happy that I got to, to represent Kenya and Kenyan artists. Because it was a pretty stiff competition but i got it so and i hope i did a good job i can't wait to get more reviews so well yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're all gonna be great because this is and yes i think it's also more for the fact that any kenyan that watches it is gonna be like wow first of all already <laughs> biased because they'll love the fact that you've come from the same place and you're getting to see just like where you've gotten to so that's there yeah, uh, yeah. So definitely a really really I'm really excited. I wish I could watch this whole thing here. You really made me like just like <laughs> cut, fly all the way down to Kenya and watch the series and come back. And come back. And just, just, You're very much welcome. <laughs> you mentioned yeah. you saw the poster. Where did you see the poster? So it was circulating in some, because I have registered with a few agencies. So uh-huh. it was circulating in, uh, in an agency's group. They had oh, posted it because they, they, you know, they don't contact you directly. So they go through agents. agencies. Yeah. So that is how I got to know it. And, um, um, yeah, I just saw that poster and they said people who are interested in this. So they had given like uh, a list of what is required. So she just filter out and they were very strict. We were like, if you don't meet this, please don't fill our, our application. You know? So I was like, you know, let me just give it a try. I, I actually, it just struck to me and especially the, the traveling part was what I was like, oh, traveling. Yeah. <laughs> traveling usually gets everyone, doesn't it? Like, what? Oh, why not? But also most people, when they saw like the India part, you know, most people, I don't know. I don't know for some reason, like even when I was telling like my friends, like, oh, I'm going to India and... I had not ma- done much of international travel before. I remember some, some I don't know if it was because I'm jealous or what. Then I'm like, oh, 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 I thought it was Euro. Or oh, I thought it was, you know, the US. I thought it was, I know, but I did tell them it what, I didn't give them the good news. Like, what I could already tell you, you know, if someone tells you that you already know, okay, let yes. me in fact end this conversation right here. Yes, yes. Like right here. I'm not even co- continuing with this. So... For those who missed about the good part of it, it's their loss. But I, I was just flying on the moon. I would be in that same position as well. So uh, I want to ask you more about the act, the actors that you were working with. I remember that was one of my biggest challenge, especially when I got to set and uh, and I was just put with them because most of the scenes that I am, I'm on, I'm acting with the main characters. Mm-hmm. And the main characters are actually really huge in India. The yes, they are. So you saw the cast lie, right? And I was like, my main, my main worry was, we I match the energy? We I match? They're so talented. They've been doing this for years, 20 years, some 30 years. Yeah. And I'm like, I, acted, I just started acting like two years ago, first of all. That made me, like, that was one of the things that stressed me the most. I was like, will I even match the talent? Which, like, you know, sometimes you question yourself, you doubt yourself. Where I where deserve to be here with them? Uh, yeah. So that was, but the good thing, they were all so nice to me. They were all so, especially the older ones. Like, they just took me, like, this little girl who's come to join us. <laughs> they were so nice to me. Yeah, I love that. They used to, like, send me gifts to a hotel every single day. Someone was just sending me some. Especially on the days, because I didn't shoot on a lot of days. So my oh my, my, my role was, like, a, a trial role, a feature trial, feature role, to see how good it works. So I didn't get a lot of scenes and all that. So I had a lot of time that I was not shooting. And... 
Every single day, I remember they used to send something. Has Kwamboka eaten? Please take this to Kwamboka. Do this for Kwamboka. Where is Kwamboka today? If she's not on set, uh-huh. someone would send their car for and their driver to just take me around instead of getting bored. It was just amazing. That sounds like it was amazing. That, mm. that sounds like... Even on like things like, I remember I was there for Easter. <clears throat> the, direct, the, the director's family, Mr. Atish Kapadia, he invited me and his family for, like, for lunch. Like, I used to say, go for dinners at their home families. I met their families. It was pretty good. I loved the actors. They, they, they were just amazing. My characters were amazing. It's, the, the cast is amazing. I, I know three or four of them that are really big in Bollywood and India specifically. They've done yeah. wide range of and they've been in the industry for a really long time. Lenny. So it's nice to hear that they're all like down to earth and they've taken care of me well there. They <laughs> great, they did. <laughs> Speaking of, is there anything that you can tell us behind the scenes that we don't get to see? It's like, how is, how is the acting like when once, you know, the, the what is that called? Take one. Late? Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> Just lady. That's not the most lady. What, what's all of that? happens behind it anything that we don't see that you feel like is a really interesting thing to know i think so one thing that everybody should know you know people say, people see you on screen and they're like oh must be easy you know you're just sitting you're just acting you're just talking on camera you don't see the over 150 people looking at you from the other side cameras holding my Especially if you're, if, like, the cast, the crew itself was, I think, over 180. Wow. Yes, just the crew, people just moving things. So actually, there were more than 200 because, first of all, every actor had a, had a, a team on their own. Uh-huh. And people don't see all these things. People don't see, like, the whole team behind this. People just see this and they think it's very easy. But there's a lot, a lot of work that goes behind the scenes. You don't see us uh, practicing with the other actors and laughing because you don't see the part. The bloopers are the best part. Yeah, like you just say something and maybe it's one of you just bust something and you all bust out without, you know, and you have to retake again. You also don't see the the struggles, especially after such a heavy scene. You don't see the emotional, the emo- it's so heavy, especially emotionally, especially uh-huh. like, where you have to cry and show emotions. It's not easy because you have to fully focus on that. Yeah. One minute you're laughing and you're really laughing. And the next minute you're shocked. The next minute you're actually crying. And you don't just stop, especially on an emotional scene. You don't just stop being sad immediately. No. You can even sometimes even go home because they're like, it's too much. You just have to go home after this scene. You can't do anything else. Yeah. So people don't see that, really. And you also don't see the fun part when we are not acting, when we are dancing together, like before the set, maybe. You don't see the part where the directors are with us, just, you know, creating conversations, the dress, you don't see our vanities and people just draping me in sari, <laughs> like I have, a, have like four women just draping me in sarees, <laughs> I have others in my hair. You don't see all that. I actually, I, I enjoy the behind the scenes more. Mm-hmm. Oh, you also don't see, like when you went after all they shoot, now you go and maybe see the tape. It, it feels so amazing. You just feel, you just see what you've done. Uh-huh. You just always get, did I do right? Let me go see what I did. <laughs> so there's always that, but I, I love the behind the scenes. They're always so exciting, really. That's, I, I feel like I wish I was there watching that whole thing like unfold. Cause you see yeah. it on TV and you see it like people, the bloopers and all of that stuff, you get to see it, but to actually be there must have been yeah. a really great moment. You know, you don't even know that I think you know, like you go and um, you find like a an empty hall, see a video of maybe a wedding, and you're like, oh my god, this is such a beautiful hall. You have no idea that that hall was made in two days. Everything was turned upside down. Like if they have rented maybe a house to shoot, they huh. get their own furniture. They don't use what is there. Like everything has to be in sync. So you don't get to see their turn around. Like everything, they can create a market out of just a plain, a, just a plain field. They'll create a whole market and bring in extras and fill it to a point you think it's an actual market. Yet it's, it's just a structure. <laughs> I remember there's a, a, a shoot I did just very separate from this. And no, that's why I got the market, market concept. And that the day we were there, the following day we went and it was 
nothing. They told us, oh, th- th- there is no market here. There was just a structure. That was just, everything was just, um, it was that one compound. Oh my God. That was, I was like, and you know, they thought that uh, no, after the shoot, they told everybody to carry everything. There was no people just there with, with packages, mangoes. Yeah, I was in packet, like a fresh shopping. <laughs> Yeah, I, I enjoyed those moments. They were really nice. It's, yeah, I can I can see how you would enjoy those. Yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> like reminisce for a second before I ask you the next question. When I when I come back in the hub uh, and maybe you are there, then I'll invite you for one of these sets. Oh. I loved I loved uh, like especially my directors. They really because they were the ones who got me there. The the bosses like really took good care of me. And they had other shows that were also running. So they used to invite me on other different sets as well to just experience. Just, instead of just saying, yeah, instead of just sitting in the, in the hotel, they were like, you know what, come, we are shooting this, come and see and meet other actors as well. So it was pretty dope. I loved it. Is there going to be a season two? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fox. So they might give us a confirmation before, let's hope before the end of year or before before the that the last quarter of the year they might give us uh, a confirmation or not but it really depends with how the show is doing it's pretty new so far yes uh, you never know you never know we pray we really pray that it goes to even season eight you know until now we are old and we have a new generation in the, yes. in the family <laughs> <laughs> that's what i would hope though. that is what i would hope for because i would um I feel like if, if we were to do a season two, it would be so, so different. Mm-hmm. You'd also probably have more in it. Like your yes. storyline will now be more immersed in it as well as, as, as opposed to what it was now. So definitely. That's, definitely. That'd be, like even when you, I don't know why I'm thinking this, but as you go down the season and you and Suresh have a child and then you have like all these different aspects of taking care of that child. <laughs> I should call him on television. Someone is wishing us to have a game. I'm just imagining that whole scenario then. And you have like all these two different cultures and these two different backgrounds taking care of. That would just also be funny. That would be really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or imagine now them coming to our culture. Ah, uh, that. I didn't even think of that. You know, a lot of things you should that side. Even if just a bit, imagine now them coming to know my culture. And my mother in law is. Amazing woman, especially in the show. She is. I'm doing all these. I'm learning Garba. I'm learning Hindi just to impress her because she does not want a black woman in their family. She wants a fair. She keeps asking the rest. So, I, have you gotten a fair Gujarati woman? <laughs> so, and that will be fun. That will be fun to see the different side. Yeah. I actually yeah, too. I have fingers crossed. Touch wood. Last word. <laughs> yeah. I guess another, another step back. Did you always know that this was something that you wanted to, I know you said you started acting two years ago and office job, you, you did an office job and it wasn't for you. So what did, what happened between you leaving the office job and you deciding that acting was a thing that you wanted to do? Actually, I have always, always wanted, um, you know how you're a little girl, you're watching films, you're watching adverts and you're like, oh my God. I love that. I wish I was doing that. I wish I was there. Like, you want that as a young girl, but you don't know where to start. And I remember I have always been very vocal and entertaining. And I did, but I I, want, I knew I wanted to be on screen, but I didn't know where to start. I didn't know anybody. I didn't know, like, people, what people do to get this, you know? Like, yeah. I was straight from the village when I, especially when I came to Nairobi, I was green. Like, avocado is even better. <laughs> and I was green. That was weird. Did you see that top of yours? Yes. Just get yeah. no, no, concentrate more green on that. <laughs> that beep it in color. That was how green I was. And I remember the first audition I did was back in 2015. Mm-hmm. I got this friend who was going for an audition after church and they're like, yeah, I'm going for an audition. I'm like, okay, first of all, what goes on in an audition? Uh-huh. They're like, uh, you just go and they try and see if you fit the character they want. And I, I was like, okay, let me accompany you. And we went and I remember I got into the audition hall. No, when I was, no, I was given like a script and I'm like, what do we even do with this script? Okay, I think mean, like, did I come all this at once? You know, it was so much for me. And I remember I could hear inside the room, people were so energetic. Cause I could feel like even the judges clapping and I'm like, 
to say. I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I'll match that. I remember I got inside and I froze. I didn't expect there would be like four, like a panel. I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect like a panel of judges. And I just froze. And you know what they told me? They told me, uh, my dear girl, this is not your thing. So please look for something you're good at. And I was like, yeah, that's true. Because clearly I, I didn't do anything. And I, they, I just, they made me believe that I couldn't do it, you yeah. know? And since then, I didn't even go for one more audition until 2020. I had done a few, uh, a few, before this one, I had done a few. Yes. Um, the 2021, hey, now I got now at audition. I was like, okay, I have gotten another audition. Do you have a Tusker t-shirt? Oh yeah, it's my home away from home stuff. You know, I have the usual. Uh, I started on YouTube. I love the head of band, but uh, unfortunately, my work of line cannot allow it because I'm doing a lot of shoots and they don't want the branding on anything. So you can't yeah. have that when mm-hmm. anything. So I just keep it off. But, but yeah, so I did the. I've always wanted. I have always wanted to be in showbiz. I knew it somehow, and so after that, I I did try anything until now 2020. But now after I started, I realized, oh, I should actually do this because yeah. I became more confident, you know. I know like, I just started learning what, what they need and what they look for. So I just went with it from then on. So this is, I, I, I enjoy doing it so much. You have no idea. I don't even complain when we have, ext- when we have supposed to work extra hours. I don't because I always feel like, you know, this is, I enjoy doing it. So I love it. That's one of the, that's, I think that's the biggest thing that you, anyone should strive for is yeah. when somebody is saying, oh, we have to do more work, excited for that as opposed to being like, oh, really? It's an indication <laughs> of the fact that you love your job and you clearly do. I'm just from the way that you speak about it. So I'm glad you have that going for yourself. I'm glad you didn't let those people at the panel shun you out because if you had listened to them, then you wouldn't have been where you are right now. So that's true. That's true. That's so true. That's so true. And I just can't. Um, I love using that because, uh, especially now that I am a I'm, I'm a growing artist, I want to use that as you know what do you call it, like an inspiration to all the young girls out there who want to be in this industry and they don't know where to start. That's why I want. I also want to start like a series on my YouTube where I'll be training people what is needed in an audition, how you should, how you can get more courage on camera, how you should respond to audition questions, how you should cram your script. That is what I want to do. I want to start now impacting. I want to now share what I have learned. I've just been here for, what, two, three years, but I have learned so much and I cannot wait to share all that. I mean, it's, you will learn every day. Even me, I'm learning because I have people that I look up to and I would still want to become, so... If I can pass this down to other people who are actually coming, that would be fantastic. So you're not just a bubbly person with a great personality and a good actor, but you're also a good person. Why are you making the rest of us look bad? What's going on? I don't know where. Let me start talking about myself. Humility just out of the window. (laughs) It'll come back as soon as we're done recording. It's going to, it'll find its way back. But for now... (laughs) That's, That's one thing you, you, you mentioned. Uh, I remember we had spoken before, about, about this before and you say you had asked a question about what people don't know about me. Yes. Because when most people look at me, especially when I'm not, I don't know, I can have that resting bitch face. And when most people like come to me, I don't know, I give that aura of, of a confident, of, of a, I don't know, like I feel myself so much or, but deep down, I just want to be your friend. I just want to talk to you casually. I just want to I just want to know what, where did you get that lunch? You know, people find me, some people find me unapproachable until they talk to me. Yeah. Until they talk to me, now that they realize, oh, you're actually very different from what, uh, from what I can just see from, especially like not people who follow me on social media and they see me somewhere. They come see me and they're like, oh my God, I didn't even think you would say hi to me back. I'm like, come on, not me, come on. I can see where that comes from because there's a lot of people who are in the same position as you are or even getting to that position who if anyone would come say hi to them would just be like why are you talking to me or yeah you know, get out of my space or some whatever it is so trust is that or having that already just that mentality that you are a nice person i can see where it's hard um oh, i don't think you have a resting bitch face i, I think it's an i don't you know have a, 
I've been, but that's the thing with the minute I see a camera, I cannot have a resting bitch face. That is how much I love cameras. See, this is what I said. You were made for it. I said this at the beginning. I'm saying it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what's the biggest challenge that you're facing right now in, in terms of your career? I would say um, we don't have much opportunities here. Uh, like, especially like since our industry, then like the industry is growing and I'm so proud of the steps that we are making, mm-hmm. but we still don't have enough. We have so much talent. Like I go for a lot of auditions and I keep sharing them even on my statuses and all that. But even when we go for those auditions, you find like, an, I remember I went for an audition and we were 900 of us. 900? For 900. One- one room. You go for an audition. There are, there are people who go for auditions and there are 2,000 people and even they are picked out. But like, it's too much. Like, we have so many, like, and employment, I guess, is also pushing people to trying out everything that they can. Even some of them who might not really be passionate about it, they still want to try it. But I wish we had more opportunities, like, you know, everywhere else. That is number one thing. Like, the, the competition is so high. So even if there's one, there's one opportunity, and you know, out of that 900, maybe they're just looking for two people. Yeah. Maybe for an act back. That's like applying to Harvard. Only 1% of them are accepted. So yeah. all of these talented people are going in and only, unfortunately, yeah. two of them get yeah. in. It's just... But I guess, no, that's the way of life in, in a lot of concepts, in a lot of aspects as well. But... I mean, no, no. I think it will, it will, we just have to create, uh, that's why I love things like YouTube because YouTube and not podcast, because as much as you are creative, you have social media, you can do something and put it out there. <laughs> like for me, I started my, I remember I started my YouTube because I was not getting, after I got my first audition, after I got my first gig, I like, Unless you're like really famous or unless you're rich, unless you're already known, that is how you get the auditions more. But if you don't, especially if you're starting and you don't know anyone in the industry, it is one heck of a task. Yeah. And then I was like, you know what? I, I The first that I knew that I was good in, on camera, I decided, you know what? That's, um, let me start a YouTube channel. Let me do something on the side until mm-hmm. some, maybe one day someone might see it. But since I have this and I want to show it to the world, let me just get my own platform. So, yeah. That's a really smart move. That's a really yeah. smart move. And it's, it's a good thing we have all these different variations of social media because there's a lot of talent, like like you just said, that gets kind of shunned away because they're not rich or they don't have the right connections and they don't know the people. But with all of these variations of social media that we have, everyone has a chance to put themselves out there and be as creative as can be like TikTok, for example. There's so many people in the States who have just earned so much money have become millionaires and all of TikTok. Out of, out, out of like kids who hadn't even graduated high school are millionaires. Yeah. We have kids who are in like lower primary who are selling toys, I don't know, reviewing things. I know I'm just surprised that we didn't know these things when we were younger. We didn't know we could actually you know, we were brought up in a way, I don't know if it's just in Africa, but we are brought up in a way you're you're told you only have to start maybe exploring your options once you're an adult. You can only explore your, your, like your talents and all that. Once you're done with college and all that, after you're done with your parents, your parents, you tell your parents, no, no, I want to be a DJ. And you're like, where? In whose house? In whose house are you becoming a DJ? Go become a doctor first and then you will design it. You have to be a doctor. So that's one of the things I, I actually think that should, should change. But it's changing now. More parents are actually more supportive to their kids uh, towards doing, art, you know, artistic stuff. Yeah, so. that's because they can see that there's a lot of money in that. You know, there's a, like a lot of, uh, there's a lot of money just hanging yeah. out need to be taken. Um, like that. you can dance and pay your fees. Well, then good kid, go ahead. <laughs> hey, you can dance and pay off everything that we want to. Go ahead, man. No one stops yes. you. Please. You're your backup dancer. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So what's the most memorable moment that you've had in your career? Like, have you had the, I know you said you just started out. So you've obviously not had the I've made it moment. But yeah. what's like one of the most memorable thing that's happened to you so far? Happy family conditions apply. <laughs> I had a feeling that was coming. That one, I don't even know where you asked. That is the biggest, biggest. I didn't even, like, I feel, sometimes I don't even believe it. Yeah. Like how many people would you know in Kenya who are on Amazon 
No one. You know, for me, it, as much as I am, I'm, I'm talking about it very casually, the depth of it has really not hit home yet. And unless you understand what that means, that is the only time you'll get it. Even for me, I didn't know it was, it was this, like, I, I, I'm telling people, like, uh, when I'm going around and they're like, what? Wait a minute. You know, like, it's huge for me. And I'm so, so honored that I actually, like, I was able to skip so much before getting there, you know? It was just yes. a platform like that. That's why I told you it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. I remember, when I didn't get, I mentioned I, when I didn't get my visa, like I, um, I, actually that was going to be my next question. What the hell happened with the visa? Why were you rejected three times? Okay, <laughs> so you had to know that I was going to stop here because I mean, come on, don't you all just want to know when her visa was rejected and why it was rejected three times? On top of that, I was really curious and I thought this would be a really good time to leave you guys hanging. I know it's really mean of me to do, but. Hey, if you really want to know, you'll be back next week for the next episode. In the meantime, I would suggest you go watch Happy Family Conditions Apply because all of the episodes are now completely released on Amazon Prime and enjoy it, laugh with it, um, cry. I don't know. I, I wouldn't know. I live in the most depressing place in the world that has absolutely no intention of having this show available in this country as i can tell so far so enjoy it for me and you shall hear me again next wednesday